Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video and I am here to show you how to continue working on making your own mods for Ark. Now, if you watch my other videos, you figured out how to set everything up, how to get everything started. And now we're actually gonna start creating some things. So make sure your screen looks somewhat like mine right now. So you've got your three different settings here, your world settings on the right hand side by going to window, world settings. Your middle section is not being played yet, but it's just ready to go right there. And then your left hand side with all your folders with a little side tab so you can kind of see your additional folders to the left of it. Now I usually set it right there so it's maximum size for three and that's kind of how I get started. If you haven't considered already smashing that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm and go ahead and sub to the channel for some awesome content. It helps me out and hopefully it helps you out as well. So that's my plug. Now. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and work on making your first mod. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make a weapon. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you. Basically, you're going to go into your game files, your mod section. If you made it like I did, you've got your own mod section underneath this, underneath Teach Mod. Now, if you haven't seen that, make sure you go back to my other videos. I think that's part two where we do that. And then go ahead and get that set up for yourself. Now, you can see I've already got some here ready to go. I've got a Night Knight weapon. I've got a God Pick. And then I've got the Dragon's Breath uh, shotgun. Now... I have already made the uh, God pick. Now, basically what you're going to do in the end of this, our goal is going to be have a total of three different things. You're going to want the weapon metal pick blueprint. You're going to want the primal item and then underscore weapon metal pick. And then you're also going to want an engram entry for that metal pick. Now, we're going to go ahead and make a brand new one. I'm going to walk you through step by step. So highlight your original mod folder, click new folder. And then whatever you're making, come up with a name for it. So I'm going to go ahead and come up with, I don't know, let's call this the Justice Sword. Why not? Justice underscore sword. I almost hit space there. So notice how it creates that file underneath this. Now, what we're looking for is pretty simple. Justice Sword is going to be right here. Now, how do we find this? Go back to game and you're basically going to pull up all of your files again. And now what you're going to do is you're just going to type in sword. Now, when we type in sword, you're going to see there's a whole bunch of different types of things. You're going to scroll through this list until you actually find the sword that you're looking for. Now, basically, we are looking for it. It's just going to take a second to get to it. Where is the actual file for this? Maybe. Why can't I find it? Huh? Why are there so many different types of swords? There's tech sword. I don't really want to do tech sword. There we go. So see how we found the sword icon. Go ahead and double click that. And basically what this is going to give us access to is we're going to see right now, this is the sword icon. We know this is what we're looking for. Now I'm going to go ahead and make a copy of this by going over to our justice sword. And we're going to go ahead and copy it over there. You want to make sure you ask, see that asset copy. Now right click it. And then you're going to go ahead and go to reference viewer. Now the reference viewer is going to take you to everything that is linked to this file. If I scroll into this using my scroll wheel, you can see that I'm zoomed into the sword icon. Attached to the sword icon, as you can see, we've got the engine in there. And then you can also see we've got our primal item weapon sword blueprint. Now we're going to go ahead and right click and then find asset and content browser. And this is going to give us our primal item weapon sword. Now, again, we're going to copy this over to our mod file, because remember what we talked about earlier with the pick. You also have to have the primal item weapon sword underneath there. So we're going to go to justice sword that we just made right there. We're going to copy it over there. And then what we're going to do is a little bit different. So now it's copied over there. We're going to go and double click this guy. And what this is going to do is it's going to give us a full tree of everything that is attached to this sword. Now, what you can do is you can see there's the weapon sword right there. So I'm going to go ahead and find this in my reference viewer, find in content browser, weapon sword. And we're going to go ahead and click and drag this over to our mod folder and weapon sword. We're going to go over and drag it to justice sword. And then we're going to copy it here. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to look for the actual blueprint for this guy. Now, I don't know where it is, um, so it might be easier just to find something else. Uh, but we're just looking for the engram for it. If we can find the engram, that's pretty awesome. It's not always the case where it's easy to find. You're going to look for engram entry, I believe is what it's called. And I am not seeing it right now. Okay, so you can also do this a little bit different. Basically, you can do engram and then you'll see everything pop up that has Engram right there. And then you can type in entry underscore, and then you can do whatever you want. You can also just type in Engram entry sword and it'll pull it up. You're going to go ahead and drag that also to your new area. So we're going to go ahead and copy that over there. Now it's going to take a second sometimes. 
And then we're going to go ahead and click on the Justice Sword. And then you should have a couple of different things inside of this. You can exit out of this. So your sword icon, your sword, weapon sword, and then the actual blueprint for this guy. You can see everything is right here. There's the Engram entry, the actual item description, and then the actual item itself. Now, what we're going to do is pretty simple. Here's the icon, right? Now, we're going to start renaming things. What I would do if I was you is you're going to want to rename these something that you can remember. So sword icon. Now, you can underscore. You can do whatever you want. I'm just going to call it justice for this time. And then it's going to be cleaning up the old assets and basically guys say, okay, we're renaming this and that's what it's going to go through. Now, I would do that with all of these things. It's entirely up to you how you do it, though. But I would rename all of them and just append it. So put it at the end. I believe append is what it is, but I'm not sure. Justice. Oop. And these are going to put all of these files so they're not the same name. And there we go. Cleaning up old assets. And then there it goes. And then we're going to right click rename again. And then justice. Okay. So now that once you've got these three, you still need to do this very last one right here. Sword underscore justice. And there it goes. Right here. And one thing just so you can tell. See these little star that you see right there? That just means you have unsaved stuff on that file. So you want to make sure you save that and never leave it without um, by just hanging there. You want to hit double click it and then save it. Or right click save it. So now that we've cleaned up all of our old assets, we have our four new things ready to go right here. Now there's a couple of basic things that we're gonna have to do. Now that we've made this, we wanna link it all together. So our sword icon, if I double click this, you can see this is just the icon. This is what we want it to look like. Um, so that's in our file. So right here, now we wanna double click on this weapon sword. Now what this is gonna pull up is this is gonna pull up our menu with everything inside of it. If you wanna change anything about your item, it's gonna be this entire list. Now there is a ridiculous number of things in here. A lot of it isn't super useful, but you can go through this, you can see use item stats, you can see is a mission item, so you can set specific things. Is a blueprint, can be blueprint, there's all kinds, you can prevent upload if you want to. There's a ton of stuff. Now you can see this right here, you can require a certain DLC, again, these are all things that you do not have to go through, but it can be very useful to go through all of these, but I'm just going to keep it very basic. You can see even as far as this is an egg, it's not an egg, um, but you can actually do a whole bunch of different unique things with this. So I just wanted to show you that kind of right off the bat. So you can see right here, we've got different types of mesh right here that we can change. So it actually looks different for costumes. Um, and you can keep kind of going through this entire thing. You can see uh, over specific classes, blah, 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 blah. We're kind of going down to a certain section where we see the actual name of this stuff. Now, there's tons of different things you can do. Description name. This is what we're looking for right here. Justice Sword. Now, you don't need a special thing. The Undisputed Ruler, blah, blah, blah. We're just going to leave it like that. We don't care too much. Um, and then kind of like you can see it right here, what we're going through is we're looking around just seeing what's going on. So basically we can go further down here and this is where we want to start. Weapon template. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to go ahead and type in here. Now what we're looking for is our justice sword. See how weapon sword justice is here? We want to click that because that's going to pull our template for whatever we want to make it as or whatever stats we want to give it into this actual blueprint pathway. So see weapon item, and then basically primal item underscore all this stuff. We're linking these together. And that's essentially the point of what we're doing right now. Now you can change a few additional things about this if you want to, you do not have to. But if you scroll down here, you can see that there's a whole bunch of individual things that you can change about this item. Again, this is not required, but you can change them just so you can see. Now, all of this stuff, pretty cool, but the main things that we needed to change were changed already. You're linking it using that one folder item that we just linked it to and then changing the name of it. See how we've got the justice now. Now, strict compile is the next thing you're going to click. And basically, this is going to upload it and make sure it's all good to go. And then as soon as you've done that, click save just in case you lose your progress and then you can go and exit out. So now we've updated this file. We've updated this file. We've got to do these two right now as well. So we're going to go ahead and click on the Engram entry. Notice how this, if you want to change the levels, this is a required character level. This is required engram points to unlock it. Can be manually unlocked. This is all fine. But we want, what we want to do is we want to link it using the blueprint entry. Now, you can click on this and then click this guy right here and it'll basically pull it over here. But the easiest way, in my opinion, is just to click it and type in what you're looking for. Primal item, weapon, sword, justice. And that's what you're looking for right there. And that, now it's all linked together. 
And then you can see Engram requirement sets. This is if you want to go further down this right here. In order to learn this, you have to have Stone Club unlocked first. If you'd like to change that, you may, but we're keeping it very simple for this video. So we're gonna go ahead and strict compile this. And then once that's completed, we're gonna go ahead and click save on this file. Now we've essentially linked all of this together. Now what we have to do is change it around just a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and click on weapon sword. There we go. So this is how you change the individual assets about your sword. Now there's gonna be a whole bunch of stuff in here and a lot of this is gonna be kind of useless. However, if you're getting more advanced into modding, this is going to be very, very important to you. What you can do with it, weapon break animation, all kinds of different stuff, firing animation. Now, because it's a sword, we're not going to really use much any of that at all. You can see that there's a camera shake right there in this. Now, what we really want to focus on is let's say you want to change the color of it. You would go through skeletal mesh right here in order to do that. And I'll show you that in a later video, how to change and update coloring of any mod. But this is how you would do that through the skeletal mesh and both of these, which you would need to change, by the way. Sorry, I had to cough there. Now, basically what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and show you all of this stuff right here. You don't really want to mess with this because this is going to change how it reacts in game. Unless you really know what you're doing, don't touch any of that. What we're looking for is kind of getting down here for these kind of stats. How long do you want it to take to equip? You can actually increase the speed. Let's say you want it out really quickly, change it to 0.1 second. And that's something that's going to be very fast, obviously. Um, and you can keep going through unequipped delay, all kinds of different stuff. Again, I want this to be my speed weapon because it's going to be a special sword. I want it to be and feel special. Um, auto reload, there's a whole, basically that's going to change how quick you swing, can fire. This is what you want selected because you want to be able to fire it by clicking. And then we're going to go in a little further down. And essentially what we're looking for now is kind of just the additional things that we can change about this. Melee consumes stamina. Do you want it to consume stamina? I want this to be a super awesome one. So it's going to consume half as much stamina as a regular sword. Now you can see there's also trace range, all kinds of stuff. Leave this kind of stuff blank unless you know what you're doing. For your first few practice times, we're just creating your very first mod. Now basically all of this stuff can be skipped through up until the point where we get to our actual editing of the stats. You're gonna go through a whole bunch of mesh. And again, I'm just gonna scroll through all this. You don't really need to worry about it. You can see more mesh, mesh statistics, mesh, mesh, collision, mesh, mesh, HUD, blah, 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 rendering, mesh, mesh, melee. Now this is what we're looking for right here. Item durability to consume per hit. I want this thing to go down very minimal per swing swing sockets you can see this right here swing socket one two and three do not mess with these allow melee time before man animation ends reducing this would increase the amount of melee hits you get off the melee damage amount let's say i want this to do stupid damage let's say i want it to do 500 damage why not overwrite that the melee swing radius let's say you want it to swing really far out there you can double the range by going to 50 and then melee damage impulse you don't need to change that now you can also see there's two more files right here. There's a weapon config and an instant config. This is basically going to give you a range of things that you can change about it. Now, you don't really want to do too much with these because these are more for long distance weaponry, whereas this one is more melee style. So you can see infinite ammo. You don't really need to worry about this um, because that's just how it works. Uh, so I wouldn't touch too much of this. Now that we've gone through this entire thing, the rest of this is kind of useless for us when we're changing our weaponry, but there are some basic things in the end. I'll kind of scroll over the top of these. You can see it right here. So um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to strict compile that and it's going to save all of our stuff. It's going to say good to go until it's done. You're going to click save. You're going to back out. Now, if you follow my other videos, we're going to go back into our teach mod folder. We're going to go into our primal game data. And this is going to pull up our tab of all of our additional mods and things to add into our game file. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to show us all the things we've had in the past. It does take a little bit of time, so give it a second to load up. Um, but we're going to go specifically to one tab. There's Engram, all of these things right here. We're going to go to additional Engram. The reason we want to put it here and not underneath Engram blueprint classes is because this allows us to actually have it as an additional sub loadable thing. So it's not required for the base game. It's not a sole thing you have to have. This allows you to stack mods and do what you want. You can see I've got my other Engram entries right here. In order to add an element, it's pretty simple. Go to add element, and then you're gonna go ahead and click here. And now all you have to do, I like this because it's the easy way, 
it'll always give you the right thing to add engram entry sword underscore justice and it's going to add that engram into our primal data bp now you're going to strict compile this and this basically adds it to the things that we can have access to and give it a second and once it's done its little process here save that file once it's still man it's taking a little bit of time go ahead and click save and then it's going to go through all of this stuff now we're going to go ahead and click x in the corner and you can see that we've got all of this additional stuff right here ready to go so our justice sword this is all of our stuff for it now i'm going to go ahead and show you how to access this basically on the right hand side make sure your uh, primal game data, uh, data right here is unlocked using your mods folder so yeah, i've got teach mods right here i want to use that so that's what it's under now what we're going to do is we're going to go and click play and it's going to spawn you into the game now this is going to spawn us in i'm going to change the actual video or the audio so you can hear it in game and then we're going to go ahead and go move around in here so this is just like anything else that you would normally do i always start by typing gcm and then we're going to go ahead and craft and then you should be able to type in justice sword and have it work but obviously i wasn't able to see it there so something went wrong all right guys the reason i couldn't find it is i misnamed it actually i just called it sword instead of justice sword so basically i just need to go change that and now it's called justice sword inside of our primal item uh stuff otherwise i wouldn't have been able to find it because i was able to see two swords but i was like why do i see two swords instead of one so now we've got it named properly justice sword we've clicked save on that we're gonna go ahead and exit out everything else has stayed the same i just had to go rename it and then basically what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and right click into this guy and then you can hear that we're in here so basically what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to type in gcm again and then we're going to go into inventory and i should be able to type in justice sword and there it is so there is our justice sword it is right there usable you can see it right here and congratulations you have made your very first mod now you can go through and test things if you want you can go ahead and spawn in anything you want to that's just like a normal gcm just to see that you're doing additional damage and notice how i'm doing a lot more damage with this thing so basically i can run up to this guy and do a ton more damage and yeah it's doing like a couple extra hundred damage now this is a level 600 and we're able to shred through it with our new justice sword pretty nice to be able to have access to this and that's pretty awesome so basically that is a thing that we can use and uh, that is that is how you create your very own mod now that's very base level obviously we've just created what we wanted to by having these four things ready to go and that's kind of what we're looking for anyways so that is how you create your very own weapon and everything like that and that's kind of our little thing make sure you smack like leave a comment below and sub to the channel and hopefully this helps you out teach out